and conservation work around the country. And for all those years of being the only national conservation organization that focuses on our cities, there is nothing that feels more reflective of our mission and more reflective of our heart and soul than Boat Echo Park here in the Pendleton. From the beginning, this project has uh, reflected that, uh, that adage, it takes a village. A huge number of different organizations, community members, public and private partnerships are reflected in, in this success. And that's certainly true with the funding for this project as well. None of this could have happened uh, without the lead donors who stepped up from the private community to bring philanthropy forward. And likewise, the state and local funding sources that we'll speak to in a moment were absolutely critical. Uh, I wanted to take a moment in particular to acknowledge the Trust for Public Land staff that has helped to make this project happen. Jen Isakoff, who heads our Bay Area Alejandro Kessy, is out there as well. <laughs> Drew Garber, Cyan Anaya, thank you so much for your work. Uh, and what we've learned with our work around the country is that uh, the projects that come from the community up are those that have the real lasting and staying power. And this community was remarkably engaged in defining the future, a better future for this park. And that community really was represented um, by Betty Trainer from the Friends of Boat Effort Park. Betty has worked for 10 years to help advance this process. very friends of Bodecker Park are very excited and grateful to be the lead uh, community partner for this project. But I want to add that we have many partners over the years. Friends of Bodecker Park uh, started in 2003 and over the years we have had many people from our from the community uh, who have worked with us, have helped fund our music program, our Tai Chi, such as the Tenderloin North of Market Community Benefit District. The Tenderloin uh, Girls and, Bo and Boys Club are one of our partners. Youth with a Mission, the City Academy, the uh, seniors uh, who are live in the different uh, senior buildings around uh, the uh, park, the Alliance for a Better District 6, the Tenderloin Futures Collaborative. All of these groups have worked with us here at Bodecker Park, as well as many individuals who just come here and enjoy the park even as it is. Uh, we're extremely grateful that for what's going to happen here. We have waited for a long time. When we started uh, Friends of Bodecker Park, it wasn't long before we started making lists of what we would like changed in the park. And we kept adding to it and changing it. It went on for a couple years, but the reality was there wasn't money to do it. And then when the Trust for Public Land came on the scene, started attending our meetings, kind of courting us, to see if we had the community support to move forward. They realized we did with, the, with all of the groups I've mentioned and all the people who live here. And they said, yes, we can be one of the three projects that they uh, were working on in the city. And we're, we're the biggest one. This is a complete renovation of this park. It will have not only uh, so many new things I won't even go into, but it's really a complete new clubhouse. So we're extremely grateful for them coming, helping us, and bringing together, which we really, I don't, couldn't have done, really, as was mentioned, the money from the state, from the uh, local funding, and from all the private sources. It takes all of that, working with the community, to have a project like this done today. And Friends of Bodecker Park, thank you very much. Thank you, Betty. As was mentioned, this, we would not be in this place breaking ground today without the support from Sacramento. And uh, I am thrilled to introduce Senator Mark Leonard, who truly understands the importance of the statewide bond measures that go to secure urban infrastructure uh, as represented by the project here today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sam, and thank you, Betty, for setting the stage for this auspicious groundbreaking. It's a real pleasure and honor, of course, to be here with my elected colleagues, Supervisor Jane Kim of this district, Supervisor uh, District 6, who's doing such a great job at the Board of Supervisors. Of course, Scott Wiener from District 8, who was one of the lead forces behind the passage of our Prop B citywide. <laughs> and 
And as Sam mentioned, it does take a village to make all of this happen. And so thank you to the Trust for Public Lands and to friends of Bodecker and of course to our own Breckett Park Department and commissioners who are here and of course the State Department of Park and Recreations as well because half of the funding for this public partner public-private partnership is coming from Prop 84, so four out of the eight million is coming from a statewide voter-supported Proposition 84. I always will have a very warm spot in my heart for the Tenderloin, given that it was my first home when I arrived in San Francisco 35 years ago. And I was at Geary and High Street for four years on my entry, and as our friend Randy Shaw has always reminded us, this neighborhood has such a remarkable and rich history to it, and often forgotten over many years. Uh, this will be a part of the revitalization of the Tenderloin. And with so many families and so many seniors and so many youth here now who will take part in the enrichment programs that will be a part of this renovation, along with all of the opportunities for mental health and physical health and social interactions, uh, which will be a part of it as well. Uh, we have a lot to look forward to. So I just want to thank everybody in the village who have come together today to celebrate the many, many years of hard work that has already been put into the project so that we can break ground and look forward to this marvelous reinvestment in our beloved Timberline. So again, with great thanks to our commissioners and to the department and everybody else who's making this a great success. And Sam, we can't do it without you. Thank you much for public land. Thank you, Senator. Uh, and I will quickly also introduce, as the Senator mentioned, uh, we have two terrific... Sam, I forgot to present you. Oh, we don't want to forget that. from the State Senate. That's all set. All right. Look at that. From the state Senate. Thank you so much, yeah. Senator. So I want to introduce our two county supervisors are here, who are here with us. Jane Kim, who has met, was mentioned, represents the Tenderloin neighborhood and has done so much to bring resources and commitment and enthusiasm to this community. And then following uh, Supervisor Kim will be Supervisor Scott Wiener, who, as was said, was such a champion of parks and open spaces and was a real advocate for the successful park bond last Tuesday. So, Supervisor. The renovation of Bodecker Park is probably one of the most exciting and important projects that, are ha that is happening in the neighborhood um, over the next couple of years. As many of you know, Tenderloin is one of the most densely populated neighborhoods in San Francisco, and it's much more diverse than people realize. We have a ton of youth, families, and seniors that also live here, as well as many adults who need open space and recreation space in this neighborhood, which we actually desperately lack. Um, as we look forward to working with our schools, I see citywide impact here. I know Demiro Lack and Tenderloin Elementary School also use a space. The renovation of this park is going to be incredibly important to making sure that this neighborhood um, continues to be healthy and vibrant. And I think that many of us know how important that is. I do want to just take a moment. Um, I know there's a lot of folks here, but I saw Captain Garrity um, in the audience a little bit old. Uh, Captain Garrity right there who helps keep this neighborhood safe. corner from the park because he actually walks the beat himself and he knows so many of the residents and neighborhood leaders. It's just amazing to have a captain that committed to the Tenderloin as well. Um, and I know that we have many of our community-based organizations in our school like Citywide Impact Academy across the street that regularly uses the park. I know Tenderloin Housing Clinic is here, Randy Shaw, and, and many other groups that have made this park such an important central piece of this neighborhood. I'm so excited um, for the renovation. I'm excited for this place to be activated and utilized to help keep this neighborhood healthy and strong. And I do just want to take a moment to thank the mayor's office who at the end actually helped us reach the gap that we had. Um, of course, Trust for Public Lands did an amazing job of fundraising for this park, and we had this one little last gap left able to prioritize the state funds that Senator Mark Leonard was talking about to go directly to this park, understanding that this park was a priority um, for the city. And I just want to recognize that our president, uh, Mark Buell from um, RPD, is here as well, along with Commissioner Alan Lowe, our community commissioner, who has made open space in District 6, where we have some of the least open space in the city, uh, a priority in the city. So thank you.